I didn't get to say Mike White. I um, I just, you know, I just truly, I, uh, you know, I just want you all to know that I had such big dreams and expectations as a younger person, but what happened was they, you know, they get sort of fizzled by life or whatever, and, and you know, I thought I was going to be Queen of Monaco, even though someone else did it, but I, you know, I had these giant ideas, you know, and then you get older and you're, oh, this is just going to happen anymore. And I just want to say, um, Mike White, you have given me hope for, just you've given me a new beginning, even this is the end, because you did kill me off, but it doesn't matter, because even if this is the end, you sort of changed my life in a million different ways, and my neighbors are speaking to me, things like that. And, and, no, I mean it. None of those people, I was never invited to one party on my hill, and now everyone's inviting me. And, um, and I just, you know, it's to you, Mike White, and I just want to say, this is something all of you don't, if you, if you don't know Mike White, this is what you should know. It's like, he's worried about the world, he's worried about people, He's worried about friends of his that aren't doing well, or if they're doing, he's always worried about people. You're worried about animals, all that. And I just, um, he really is one of the greatest people I've ever met. I mean, he gives me so much excitement to be, you, you, you make people want to live longer, and I didn't. So anyway, I just want to say, Mike White. Sorry, no. Mike, I love you to death. Dave Burnett, I love you. I just want to say, um, this is, a fun night. Thank you. Thank you.